Now at the moment I'm desperately trying to get my peppers ripened because they're in low tunnels outside and they those low tunnels are going to get cleared through October so first week second week third week of October and it's always difficult to get them all ripe so we end up picking loads and loads of green ones now we have already had hundreds of white of ripe peppers off those beds but they're just full of green peppers again so I know some people can leave their peppers longer into November uh, if they don't get frost but in my case as I said I need to get my beds cleared so I got to thinking what can I do to accelerate the ripening now obviously everybody's talking about bananas for ripening uh, tomatoes but I've had a lot of really good luck using apples that are on the verge or actually even rotting to ripen the um, tomatoes and it's been great because obviously well not obviously but you know, might not know I had blight in my polytunnel so I had to pick hundreds and hundreds of tomatoes and I put them in big wooden boxes and I managed to ripen almost all of them so like 95% of them which is fantastic and much better than I've ever managed to ripen them before using bananas so rotten apples for me so far seems to be a fantastic way of ripening now the other benefit is there are loads of rotten apples on an allotment site so today I've been around gathered up hundreds of rotten apples uh, which is doing a good service for everybody and then I've just thrown them underneath my um, low tunnels now the peppers are kind of in the top part of the low tunnel and the apples are at the bottom here and so the ethylene gas from the rotten apples is going to rise because it's slightly lighter than air it's denser than nitrogen but it's lighter than air so it should just gradually percolate up and get trapped in the top of the low tunnel now that's the theory uh, I'm gonna see how well it works um, now unfortunately I'm not in a position where I can do half of them with the rotten apples and half of them without the rotten apples which would be a great experiment and I'd love to do it but I just don't want to take the risk of not ripening my peppers I just can't afford that sort of experiment but um, I'd be really interested if other people wanted to try this and maybe some people have got enough space so they could try it uh, with and without but anyway I know roughly speaking how many peppers I would expect to ripen based on the experience of the past few years so I'm going to compare it just based on my anecdotal experience so it won't be a proper experiment but it will be interesting and I was in two minds as to whether to release this video I thought maybe I should save this video and show you the results in four weeks time but then I thought well what if people want to try it themselves anyway so I've decided to release the video have a go I don't know whether it's going to work the theory I think is sound I think that rotting apples do release a lot of ethylene people use rotting apples or even just ripening apples uh, but why waste a ripening apple um, to ripen bananas and obviously in commercial uh, fruit production ethylene gas is used extensively because everything is picked uh, under ripe and is ripened in ripening warehouses basically where ethylene gas is just pumped in there and everything is just brought to ripeness just as exactly when it's needed um, so this is kind of a way maybe of duplicating that sort of experience anyway let's see my name's Steve this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon